I volunteer at Great Plains SPCA because it's a great organization and not only do I get to help the dogs, but the dogs help me. In uh, 2002, summer 2002, um, I had a nervous breakdown. I voluntarily went to a psychiatric facility at a local hospital uh, and I was diagnosed with major depressive disorder, um, anxiety, and uh, PTSD, and alcoholism. So basically what that stemmed from was um, sexual abuse as a child. I became very good at burying everything and putting up this facade, the complete opposite of what I was feeling inside. Then I met this dog named Baby. And basically, Baby had uh, a scar from her, the base of her neck to the base of her tail. And <clears throat> what someone had done was they had poured acid on her. You know, someone had done this horrendous thing to her and she, she didn't show any signs of her holding that against me or any other humans I ever saw her interact with. She moved on. Over a little bit of time, I saw a connection. Someone who she trusted had done this to her. These people had done these things to me, so why couldn't I work past it? That was my sort of benchmark, I guess, was, was baby. And the idea that I could, I could move on from this. I see a parallel between myself and these shine fearful dogs. I felt in a lot of ways the same way they feel. You know, the first thing I think of is dogs that have been abused and they're afraid and they don't know who they can trust. I don't think most people understand the scope of the, the, the amount of animals that are in need of help. When I come to see these, these dogs, um, it's, it's, a, it's a funny feeling because they're here. A lot of times they don't know why they're here. And it's like the second they get outside, it's like a different dog. It's like this whole world opens up for them. In dogs, I see just a joyfulness, just they just enjoy life, and I feel that at this point, too. It took me 15 plus years to come to terms with what I had experienced. If you went through anything like I went through, the, the most important thing you need to do is talk to somebody. I've been sober for 13 years. I have a great life. I really do, and I'm lucky. And uh, I think the dogs are a good reminder of that. I owe it to these dogs and the dogs that come in after them and after them. I owe it to them to help them because they help me.